Welcome back to daytime. When you think of soda, you probably think of cola, lemon lime, maybe ginger ale root beer, but that is just the tip of the iceberg or the crushed ice if you're like me and you like your soda with like this much ice. That much ice, but then where's the drink, Maggie? I just keep refilling it. I just <laughs> love tons of ice. What about you? I love you? the carbonation in the soda. You gotta have all of that. And you can try more than 100, almost 200 different flavors of soda at the upcoming Sebring Soda Festival, including prickly pear, candied bacon, flavors I've never heard of. Casey Hart of Visit Sebring joins us now with a preview and a taste. Hi, yes, how hi. are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. I love this Always display pleasure, that yeah. you have going on Very for us Very colorful, like we are today. Yeah. It yeah. is, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the Sebring Soda Festival is this weekend, April 1st through 3rd in downtown Sebring. It's on our circle when we have a soda shop on the circle. So that's how this all started. So this is our fourth annual soda festival. And what I love about this festival, it's so multi-generational. You will see families out there, everyone from the little kids to the grandparents, and everyone's having a really good time. So Farron, relatively new to Tampa, and I'm all about telling her places to discover. Sebring is one of these towns that you go and you're like, you feel like you're transported. So it's just like this fun Americana slice of heaven to visit anytime but yes. during the soda festival you get different activities Friday Saturday and Sunday right yes throughout the entire weekend so we kick it off Friday night with a fizzy family fun night which includes a silent disco and lots of different soda tastings there wait hold up because yeah. if the viewers <laughs> are like me they're like, what's a silent disco? <laughs> well, I think Farron needs to explain yes, it. Farron. Because she, uh, well, because she knew what it was. Silent <laughs> discos are awesome because everyone just wears headphones. And so the DJ will play music into the headphones. So everyone that has a headphone, they can dance along. Mm. But if you walk up and you don't know what they're doing. You just see people dancing. You just see people dancing. And it's like, to yeah. what beat are they dancing? Yeah. But it's a lot of fun when you get to be a part of that. Yeah, so that's going to kick it off Friday night. And then obviously the sodas, the tasting of almost 200 sodas is going to be Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. There's different activations. There's tons of kids' games. Um, we have all different things for people to do. Um, obviously, food trucks, vendors, <laughs> arts and crafts. But then uh, Saturday night, they also have a concert, a block party concert with a band called Bluff It, which is a Jimmy Buffett style concert. Oh, so nice. it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, can we talk soda? We can, yeah. I know we're tasting some. I'm Before excited. Before we do, can you tell us what would you say is the most or one of the most unusual flavors you've got? I think, well, Farron mentioned the candied bacon. Um, I think the cucumber is really unique and different. But there's all different. We have butterscotch. Um, these are really fun. These are what we call totally gross sodas. They're made by a company called Avery's in New England. And they're obviously not gross, but they're really fun names like mm. Monster Mucus, Bug <laughs> Bar. Love it. My Unicorn son Jack. would be like, yes, yes. please. Yes. I want to taste that. So it may not be like a weird flavor, but the names are really fun as okay. well. So, and then there's all kinds of things, even stuff throwback to like Moxie and RC Cola and, you know, some of those nostalgic Cheer brands. Wine. Cheer Wine. Yes, that's fun. all there. Yep. I'm ready to taste so, some of okay, these sodas. Okay, so we're going to start with the red one. Are so what's the object of the game? We have to taste and guess. And tell me what you think that flavor is. is. Yes. Okay. So this is going to be good. See how good your taste buds are. I'm going to smell like wine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting anything. There's the raspberry in there. Mm, Rudy I'm getting like raspberry. A, <laughs> I'm getting like a... Ha, ah, I don't know. Uh, oh, you're sipping it. I just kind of chugged it. Oh, you chugged it? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> and my finger's up. I'm very fancy. Yeah, there you <laughs> are. With that plastic okay, cup. Okay, we're taking very long. Um, I don't know, like a root beer type thing? Okay, so I think Farron will get this one. It is a blueberry. Blueberry, a okay. Blueberry Bravo. soda. It's actually yes. very good. It, yes. it was it's good. very good, very refreshing, right? Yeah. It was. Yes. Right, shall we take so, number yeah. two? Number, number two, two. Okay. looks like a cola. I'm going to have my pinky out like Maggie on this one. <laughs> Ooh, this one? Ooh, that smells strong. Ooh, sweet. I recognize it's like a Slurpee. It's like a... It's more of like a root beer, I thought. Yeah, it's got to be root beer. So this one is... Oh, my gosh. Having some... Like a cherry root beer. It does not want to be revealed. It does not want to be revealed. It is a pepper elixir. What the what? So what? It's, <laughs> it's like a Dr. Pepper. Like a Dr. Oh. Pepper. Yes, that's what they were called back then. Elixir. It is yes. like a yes. Dr. You weren't Pepper. drinking medicine. No. <laughs> yeah. okay. Okay. All right. Let's so, the last okay. one. Last one. It's this ginger ale. Really. Oh, I was gonna say it looks like apple juice. This one's fun. Ooh, butterscotch. Okay, butterscotch or caramel in there? Going with butterscotch, caramel. What are you going? I'm going with butterscotch, caramel. Okay. This is a praline cream soda. 
Okay, okay the cream yeah. soda. In right? It. That's, so that's where you get in the, the you know, That one is there. actually also very good. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I love them all. Yeah. So fun. Thank you, Casey. So, yeah, yeah. It's For really sure. good to have you. And if you want to partake, the Sebring Soda Festival happening this weekend, April 1st through 3rd in downtown Sebring. That's right. And you can go to visit Sebring.com for more information. We'll be right back.